John Responde with MaxBoxing.com and Seconds Out. I'm in Pacifica, California, where on December 3rd, be a historic all-female boxing card, like a rock throw away from here, the Pacific Cages. On my left here, on your left, is Blanca Gutierrez, the promoter. In the middle is a two-time former world champion, Melissa McMorrow. And then, on the right, <laughs> yeah. the quiet one over there, is <laughs> the former WBC women's heavyweight champion, Martha Salazar. Yes. Okay, Blanca, this is, this is a very important deal for you, your first promotion. Um, how did this come about? I mean, you, you know, we've talked for a long time about the obstacles the ladies boxing uh, have faced. You got this going. How did you manage to put this whole show together? Well, the way the show got together is actually all three of us have been involved in boxing for about, I'd say, some of us 15 to 20 years. Martha and I started together, and we knew all the hardships of boxing as far as being a female fighter. Um, having pretty much equal rights in the gym and trying to get that bag work and sparring and actually getting on shows and that's how we started. I found that many females, amateurs, couldn't get on any shows. People didn't take the time out to match them. So we started creating this, um, I would say the Northern California force of fighters who would all get together and spar together and um, it's really the amateurs that brought about this pro show. They branded the Beautiful Brawlers. We've had the best amateur fighters in the world. Uh, Lupe Gutierrez, Mariana Juarez, Heaven Garcia. These are uh, fighters that have all come to the Beautiful Brawlers amateur shows. And both of them, all of us, uh, got them ready. And they as well got Melissa ready and Martha ready for fights also. So this was just the next step. It was the inevitable. It was going to happen. And um, I'm just taking it to the next step forward because some of those amateurs are turning pro. Now, obviously, there has to be some chauvinism going on here. Why do you think, I mean, boxing, ladies boxing has been around for a long time. Christy Martin was a big star. Lala Ali was a big star. The ladies fight. Why do you think that there seems to be a lack of people to really accept that this is a reality, support it like the men's boxing gets supported? Why, why does that happen? I think generally people want to say that other people don't want to see, or men do not want to see women hitting women. That's number one. But that shouldn't even make a difference because all that should really matter is that women can sell tickets. We can put the butts in the seats, we have the best fights, and frankly, I'm bringing Bay Area Boxing's best. This is going to be the best show in the Bay Area, and it just happens to be a woman's, an all-women's fight. And I say that because, number one, we have two of the uh, top ten pound-for-pounders here. Melissa's number one in the nation. Martha's number one in the nation. Uh, we also have Corinna Moreno that we're negotiating a fight for right now, who is number one in the nation. So I, I don't know why it hasn't caught on in the United States, but I feel like with Clarissa Shields getting into the Olympics, that's uh, pretty much a game changer, and it's a good time for me to right. now move to the next level and take it one step above. But it, it's not difficult when you have fighters like this in the Bay Area. They should be on every card. It's just, you know, I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, the big question, isn't it? Let's talk about your dad a little bit, because I know he was a contender in the 40s and 50s. Uh, he fought for quite a long time. It, do you feel like, it, is he the inspiration for a lot of this? Um, uh, is it passion in your blood, whatever you want to say? I mean, Babyface, which was his nickname, Babyface. Is that where you found this desire to do all this, or is it just something that just comes very natural for you? Um, number one, uh, he was my hero in life. I loved him so much. We only talked boxing about, you know. Um, is he my inspiration? Yes. After he died, I took it really hard. He was my best friend, and um, I opened the gym and it changed my life. It's a matter of survival. Boxing saved a lot of lives and it saved my life that way. So I want to carry on his legacy. It just happens to be with women. And actually my dad was a lot like Martha. He was really tough. He didn't have to say it. He was nice to everybody. And it just, I don't know, maybe it's my dad did inspire me, but Martha Salazar has been a very big inspiration because she's a lot like my father that way. So. It's nice. Talk about tough. Let's let's talk to the one in the middle there, the tough mighty, mighty, 
<laughs> Mighty Melissa there, the two-time former I champion. I started before, actually. Really? I started before. Long time yes. Before, yeah. yeah, really. That must have been quite an experience. It was a great experience. I thought I, I was pretty good when I sparred her. <laughs> I, got younger. I did all right. Well, this is cool for Melissa because this will be the first time you've been fighting in the Bay Area in seven years, yeah. right? So this is awesome. Ooh. Now, tell me, are you going to bring a little extra motivation in there to, to show the Bay Area fans what you got, you know, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, of course, you know, it's great to fight at home. It's great to have people like actually supporting you. Most of the places I go, it's walk into some, boo a lot of booze, right? I can usually sway the crowd, you know, but um, it, it's, there's just extra motivation when you come, when, it, when it's at home, because everybody that you care about is there. Now, speaking of motivation now, as I said, we only mentioned this once, your last fight was a tough one, yeah. a tough loss. Now you're back in the ring quickly, which is rare, yeah. especially in women's boxing and yeah. in all boxing nowadays. They used to fight every week back 100 years ago. Now it's like every six months to yeah. whatever. You're back in the ring. How's that feel to be getting back in there so quick? I mean, it feels great. I wish that I could have that kind of, you know, turnaround of fights all the time. It's just really difficult to get the fight. So it's great what Buck is doing to like really try to stimulate boxing in the Bay Area. Um, but, you know, I, I, there's, there's extra motivation. Of course, I want to, like, I want revenge for my loss. But, um, you know, I'm just excited. Even though you're a two-time former champion, you always feel like you got something to prove when you're getting in there? I mean, especially with the obstacles the ladies, you know, yeah, go I against. Yeah, of course. That's why I do it. If I didn't feel that way, I probably wouldn't be boxing anymore. You always know? something to prove. I mean, I always, I mean, yeah, like, it, especially, like, I... I work hard at boxing. I want everyone to see everything that I've learned. And I, I really think that I'm one of the best out there. And so, you know, because I fight abroad a lot, I feel like my record doesn't convey the skills that I have. Yeah, you're always, you're the, you're the ultimate road warrior. So I always call you an article. Now on to the former WBC ah! ladies. Ah! <laughs> the, the very quiet one over there, Martha. <laughs> Now, Martha, you haven't fought in nine months, and, and you did hold the title a couple of years yes. ago. Now, tell me, how badly do you want it back? Oh, my God, I want it so bad. I can <laughs> taste it right now. I've been calling Alejandra, and I've been Facebook timing her and everything. And every time I see her, I say, what's up, girl? When are you going to give me the rematch? I talk to a promoter, too. Hey, when are we going to have this rematch? Come on, I love Cancun. I want to go back, get my belt <laughs> back. You know, so uh, I'm really excited. Uh, this will be like a tune-up kind of fight, you know, with... Uh, Tennessee Daniel, Daniel yeah. and then um, it'll be the, our second fight together. I'll be a rematch from when I, you know, beat her on the for the WBC. Um, but I'm excited just to be fighting here at home again, you know. And hopefully by then, next year in January, we hopefully we get the rematch in Cancun or in Mexico, wherever. I'll go anywhere, no matter where. No matter. Okay. So yeah, this is a rematch with Daniel. So this is really important, right? Because. A tune-up fight, as you said, but you, you really want to, you're like Melissa, you really want to impress the local folks with a good performance on the third, right? Oh, yeah, especially to be fighting here in the Bay Area, in Pacifica, you know, most of my family are around here, close by, all my friends, so it's going to be a packed house, exciting, you know, just to be with Melissa and fighting on the same car with yes. her. Yeah, yeah, it's a dream, I mean, huh? All these people from the Bay Area, all these women and ladies, you know, I'm older, so I say women and ladies. <laughs> But it's an exciting time. Um, thanks to Blanca that uh, she's always been fighting hard for us and let us, you know, do our thing here at Babyface, you know. And I'm just excited, man. I'm so excited. I can just jump in right now and let's do it. Yeah, I can see that. Both of you guys have been fighting for quite a long time, but everybody's really excited about the show on the third, huh? We're really going to show it, yeah, show yeah. people about lady yeah, boxing, right? Women's boxing. Skill. we got to show our skills, you know, but we train hard and we train like a man and we show our skills just like they do. And hopefully somebody will pay us some good money. Come on, promoters, <laughs> you gotta make that money. Really? And really. the fights are better matched, I think. You know, yes. the, the fights are, the, all the fights would be good fights. You know, I think that happens a lot in other cards with other promoters is they have really mismatched fights, so they're not that interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, I was, I was gonna say, I said to Blanca earlier that every time I've ever seen the females, the women go at it, it's always good fights, tough fights. Is that what we can expect? Is that what the fight fans, if they're hesitant a little bit about, well, I'm not quite sure what's yeah. gonna happen on a third, Tell them what they can expect on December 3rd. If anybody who's been to any of the amateur shows we have, everybody knows that I like fair fights. I don't like mismatch fights, you know. I like fair fights, and I like tough fights. So it's going to be explosive. It's going to be explosive. It's going to show Barry a skill. We got two pro debuts that girls had good runs in the amateurs. 
We have a girl with one fight that had a great run in the amateurs. Tony Fisher, exciting fighter. We all know each other. This is even better. All of us know each other. We've all worked with each other. Nobody backs down. Our big motto is we fight anybody, anytime. But also, we also want to give people preparation for these fights. We don't want, you know, we want people to know, just like when Martha gets a fight, we want enough time to get ready. Everybody knew that this was coming, so everybody has enough time to get ready. So you'll see some good fights out there, and you'll see some bear, like I said, some of the bear is best boxing. It just happens to be women. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Now tell the fight fans where they can get tickets for this show, December 3rd here in Pacifica. So we have tickets of babyface boxing, pick up tickets from your fighters. Our general admission's 50, our ringside are $75. We'll be having tickets for sale on the, ring, on the uh, internet. There's also a private party. If you pay $100, you'll have a private party in the lounge with some of the fighters that's very limited. Uh, you go into www.babyfaceboxing.com. You'll be able to purchase your tickets, get more information about the event. Um, our uh, weigh-in should be great, too. We have some special guests. You know, I have, uh, uh, if you go on the internet, YouTube sensation, what would Lizzie do? She's a uh, makeup artist. Uh, she just happens to be like... I always thought that if she got in boxing, she could be Leila Ali. She's, mm. that, she's tall, she's big, and she's strong. She just happens to like makeup. But she can, she's uh, my younger sister. She can really fight, but instead of contributing that way, she's going to come out here and have this meet and greet. So um, the event's going to be like a nightclub. It's going to be, uh, we're going to be on fire. Sounds good. So it's December 3rd. There's December like 3rd. six, five or six you haven't you have, you have confirmed so with. So far we have five fights. Five fights, okay. You know, I might have another special fight. Uh, there's been a lot of fighters out there. There are very popular fighters that want to be on this show. I'm like, shout out to Layla McCarler, McCarter and mm -hmm. Melissa or Hurricane Hernandez. They want to be on the show, but I'm just starting out. So I'm really going to focus on these Bay Area fighters first. I mean, we have the best in the world here, so I can't reach out <laughs> yet, you know? I'll, I'll reach out after, but really, it's about Melissa McMurrow and getting that headline shot, and she's one of our sensations here. I can't even speak so great about her. I mean, I could say all these great things about her, but unless you see her fight, and it, most of you have, it's absolutely amazing. She's an incredible fighter. She's a little hurricane there. Okay, so. <laughs> but hey, but I, if I were 10 years younger, I would take this fight. So all of you girls who aren't taking the fight with Melissa McMurrow, I got in the ring with her. You guys should get in the ring with her. In fact, if I, was, if I wasn't 50 yet, I'd put my, my um, application into commission and I'd fight her myself. But I just have to. See, now how many fun. promoters do you hear say that? <laughs> <laughs> Never hear that, I right? Need it. I, I'm sure you do. Okay. If you're a fighter, you shouldn't done nobody. Just fight. Fight. That's, That's it. what it's supposed to we be about. It. It. We okay. gotta fight if you love the sport. Come on, ladies. We can't make that much money, so let's just fight and have fun. Enjoy it. And support it. Yes, we need you guys to come it. out and support it. So I want to thank you, Blanca. Good luck, Melissa and Martha on the third. Bay Area fans, come out and support the ladies. Watch them fight because they bring last, it. Sure. Yes, one last thing. Thank you to Zaragoza Boxing Equipment for being yeah. our sponsor because they're awesome sponsor. We have great sponsors, Pretty Girl Productions, Wax Appeal, The Scape Spa. We've got these women businesses coming out here and sponsoring great. us because they believe in us. I need a hand here. Great. <laughs> All right. All right. Good luck, ladies. We'll see you on December 3rd here Pick in Pacifica. All right.